proposition has been grappling with this confused definition which is actually meant for touristic destinations, for touristic zones in Sri Lanka. Now the debate a preliminary round saw Lysim International School taking on the gentleman from Candy, Kingswood College. The topic under the knife was whether or not the establishment of special zones is necessary to improve the tourism industry. And another location down south. Ladies and gentlemen, what, yes sir. Where are the statistics to prove that there are only four special zones? So if zone. you would refer to the research provided at the beginning of this debate, you will see that we have provided the proper statistics. And if you have done your research, sir, then it would be very clear as to which these, what these special zones are. Inspired by the great Greek philosopher Aristotle, student of Plato and teacher to Alexander the Great, Lyceum International School stands as a monument to Aristotle's own school of philosophy. Lyceum International School was founded on the 14th of June 1993. A dream of founder and managing director Mr. Mohan Lal Guero, Lyceum International School Ngegoda was the start of a number of such educational institutions across the country. I'm very proud to speak these few words on behalf of my students, Seumini Atakada, Kavin Ratnavira, Hasita Jayavadana and Seumini Piris for making it to the semi-finals of the debater, which is a looked forward to event. I think during the past five months they have been debating with really leading schools in the island and I think they have done a great job in coming up to the semi-finals. I think they are going to face uh, Muslim Ladies College and this is done by MTV Sports. Debating is really a great thing for students because it enhances their communication ability and communication is a thing which needs they have to survive in this world and communication is something which they need for progress and I wish them all the best. I think Everybody, all the principals of the other schools are awaiting eagerly for the result. Uh, we give a great emphasis on speaking because from grade 1 upwards we do effective speaking and I think that has helped these children to come to this level. Taking your attention to the key word of the debate today, special zones. We would like to emphasize that the Honorable Proposition team merely defined a touristic zone, ladies and gentlemen. What we are talking about is a special zone. According to the United Nations Economic and Social Commission for the Asia-Pacific, a special zone is an area designated as a touristic hub. That means, ladies and gentlemen, a center for tourism and not merely an area conducive for tourism. The vision of the school is to produce global citizens who will reshape the future, while the mission of Lyceum International is to enhance the potential of every young soul that passes through their halls, empowering them to be the best they can be. Grade four. I mean, like I've known her since grade four. The girl with the short hair, her short hair that she maintained up to date. The girl who used to tell me scary stories, but that was in grade four. And I used to get nightmares. That was in grade four. But uh, above all, she was like a really nice person, and, uh, and she was like a really good friend. I've known her so well, and she was always there for me. Um, in times of trouble, I used to tell her all kinds of things, like my problems or whatever, and she was there to like sort of listen to, and you know, just be a good friend. And I think Shannon has a lot to say too. Ceremony is really crazy, 
Uh, she calls herself the Bata, but she's not really that short because uh, somehow she has grown taller than me, which is very surprising because I'm so tall as you can see. She's uh, not that tall, I'm almost her height, but we had fun, a lot of fun <laughs> with Selvini. Uh, she has a crazy sense of humor. She likes to be sarcastic. Very sarcastic. I think she's very sarcastic, but most of us don't even get it. Uh, she loves dogs, especially small white fluffy dogs. Yeah. I like some reason. I like white fluffy cats. And uh, um, in pre no, she has a lot of practice with debating because uh, on G plus we have a lot of weird conversations which I win. So she has a lot of practice, free practice from me. She's the PIC, you know. But we are sure that our debating team is going to win because it's really good and they've been practicing and working really hard. Uh, we wish them all the best and we are sure they'll do their best to win. But the Lyceum debating team is really strong, especially with Ceremony in it. I'm not saying that the other debating members are bad or something. They are like awesome, Sandamini, everybody else. But Ceremony, I'm here to talk about her and she's like really good and just keep it up. Go Lyceum! First of all, worthy opponents, let me remind you that if you had actually looked in the website properly, under the subheading of tourism zones, do they actually give a whole list of the 45 zones mentioned in both, uh, by both uh, sites? Yes, they do. To answer your question, yes. And taking your debate, you're speaking, you're harping on the fact of cult culpidia. It's like this, you're just looking at the cost generated, but we are looking at the cost which will be generated from that project, which is five times more greater, and we are looking at the greater good. Can you see any sense in that? The debate proved to be one of the most keenly fought during the first round. The Lyceum International School debaters displayed a promising array of speaking skills and keen wit. Is lost as amusement parks, underwater tunnels, golf courses, race courses come up not only in Kalpitya, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is Lyceum International School, Nukia Garda. In this spirit, Lyceum International School Nugegoda strives to give the best to their students. Lyceum takes a scholarly and rigorous approach to learning. Students learn to be thorough in the research, analysis and communication of ideas and information from teachers who also practice these skills. Proud and a happy moment for me as the coach of the Lyceum International School Nogegoda debating team. I am indeed very happy to announce that they have entered the semi finals and they do deserve this honor, every bit of it. The first speaker of the proposition mentioned that nuclear energy is sustainable. Well, it is not mainly based on the fact that it is not a renewable source of energy, thus it is not um, sustainable. Also, we have certain other criteria such as it being equitably accessible to all nations, where all nations both developing and developed should be able to cater to all possible costs and uh, the regulations in uh, creating nuclear power plants. Round and two of the debater matched up Nalanda the College Colombo with the Lyceum debaters. The, the topic being whether or not the nuclear the energy is a global is solution to the energy crisis. Like there is no uniform solution for the energy crisis itself. So now moving on to why nuclear energy should not be used. On a first level of analysis, we see the environmental harm that nuclear energy itself causes, caused by the radiation and the nuclear waste emitted by these plants which eventually lead to genetic mutation and deformation itself. Sandamini, Seovini, Hasita and Kavi have all been my students and they have 
I am so proud to say that they have done wonderful well to become the come to up, up to the semi-finals in this contest organized by MPV, the debater. The school also strives to create a climate that encourages respect for a variety of ethnic groups, languages, religions, opinions, values and cultures. Kavins. As you would know, he's a great debater for one reason, he never, he never shuts up. I mean, if you start the conversation with the guy, he keeps on talking, talking, talking. And I feel sorry for the opposing teams who had to face him. Well, a few stuff about Kavin. One is he's never on time. You tell him to come at 8 o'clock, he comes at, let's say, 8.30. But all in all, I suppose he's a great guy to have around. In addition to that, uh, a room with Kavin is always a room full of laughter. He always cracks his own jokes and he laughs at it on his own. So, Kavin, I hope you are listening to this and you have a great tournament ahead of you. Look, nuclear energy is not the most efficient way of uh, solving the energy crisis because the energy crisis was created due to the monopolization of the energy market. How was the energy market monopolized, ladies and gentlemen? Because developed nations bought fossil fuel, misused fossil fuel and used the limited supply of fossil fuel to charge high prices from the developing and third world countries. Now, we believe that this is a fundamental and side proposition because they are not addressing the status quo. They are basically sweeping the uh, uh, problem under the carpet and say, look, let us let the developed world abuse the developing world and let us go back to the status quo. The school endeavors to provide students with every available facility, from computer labs to science laboratories to a well-stocked library. Someone so short, she's one of the most intimidating people that I know. Do not underestimate her. From our whole school, she's one of the best talkers that I know. Sandamini and her team are going to win this for us, and they're gonna knock you off your feet. And above all, she's one of the best friends that we have. She has the sweetest personality, and when you get to know her, she's a truly, a really amazing person. We love you, Sandamini, and we wish you all the very best. We know you are gonna win this. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, according to the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, only 2% of the global energy came from nuclear energy in 2008. This shows that there is enough and more time for countries to stop invest investing in an unfeasible, unsustainable and expensive system. Our eminent panel of judges declared Sandamini Athakada as the best speaker of the debate. Once again, the Lyceum team displayed a fine array of showmanship. The team's superior argumentation made sure that they made it to the quarter-finals. Uh, Lyceum, all the best of luck. May you go and win and we won the Canon Cup in Lyceum. And how have they become such wonderful debaters? Now just look at Sathamini uh, uh, or Devanta or... or Wonderful debater, just three of her. Now, when it comes to choosing a debating team, we have a problem because every second one is real tough.